Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. I've got a few new recipes on the menu this week, so let's check out what I bought and what I'm making. Allison started school last week, so I'm finally kind of getting back into a normal routine. She's in fifth grade now, and I honestly don't know how that happened, but here we are. Now it's just time to balance getting my work done, I'm creating a cleaning and decluttering schedule and spending time with family when they get home. Before I get into the haul, I have been sharing kind of updates here and there with my skin and my eyes. I've been dealing with some sort of allergic reaction, I think, for the past few months and we're still trying to figure out what it is. As you can see, like my eyes are still kind of red around there. Um, something happened and my eye puffed up really good this week. So I'm experimenting with all the different allergens that I, it said that I had, and then I have an appointment coming up in a few weeks. So if none of this stuff is working, then I have a couple more ideas of what I can try, but I will keep you guys updated. The week before, I did a Walmart grocery pickup because it was super convenient for me, and I liked it so much I wanted to do it again today. So I visited Meyer first, and then I went over to Walmart to pick up groceries. So let's get into the haul now, and I'll show you what I bought. So I went to Walmart and Meyer this morning. So we're going to start over with Walmart. Um, starting over here, I've got a big five pound bag of russet potatoes. I'm making baked potatoes and then using the rest for another dinner. I also have a bag of apples for me. And then it's just some bananas for breakfast. Back here, I've got two cans of the pizza crust. I am making like pizza pinwheels for a party. So that's going in there. Also, I got a bag of taco blend cheese and just some shredded mozzarella for some dinners. Uh, some grated Parmesan. We were using up the last of it. Also, a big bag of tortilla chips for snacking. Then I got two cans of great northern beans for a dinner. And then two cans of pumpkin. I'm using one of them to make pumpkin scones and then I'm keeping the other one in the pantry just in case and some bacon bits for salad. I got two cans of tuna for a dinner. Then just some toothpicks, like Allison uses them in her artwork sometimes and we just ran out of them, so there's that. Also two packages of taco seasoning for dinners, some pepperoni that's going in the pizza pinwheels. Also some chicken apple sausages to go in a dinner some eggs i still have a dozen left in the fridge i just needed one and then just some chicken broth to use for a dinner i got feta cheese that's going in some pasta along with that chicken sausage some greek yogurt for me and back here some chocolate caramel coffee creamer then just some cooking spray here then I got some old fashioned rolled oats using lots of oats recently. Then a jar of salsa and a jar of pizza sauce that's going in the pizza pinwheels. Also some ground flax seed. I use that a lot in like my oatmeal and in baking items. And back here, just a big box of peanut butter and dark chocolate protein bars. A box of penne for dinner. Then some chocolate chips. We were running out of those. Also some string cheese just to use for snacks. And um, we got three bags of frozen broccoli. The last thing for Walmart is just a bag of Lifesavers mints. We're obsessed with them. So Meyer just needed to get a couple of things. Um, looking around, uh, Allison said that she wanted some raspberries for her lunches, so I got her a package of those. This taco seasoning mix was marked down, so I bought that just to keep on hand. Also, one of these Sargento Balanced Breaks. This one has cheddar cheese, milk chocolate chunks, dried cranberries, and graham crackers. Also, these guys were on sale, the Lance Crackers. They were th uh, two for seven and there's 10 in each one. So I got the cream cheese and chives and then the cheddar cheese. Allison really likes them. And then lastly, we just got some Hawaiian rolls for sandwiches and parts of dinner. So my total for this weekend was $107.59. I still have a little less than $20 left over. So in case I need any other stuff, 
Like if something goes on sale on flash food, I can go buy that. As far as the menu goes, I have a few vegetarian meals. So one of my friends actually sent me a bunch of cool things. So she has her own soap making business and she sent me a few free samples as well as a couple of bags of dried beans, which is amazing. So I'm going to link all of her stuff down below. Um, she hand makes all of the soap. It smells amazing. Allison loves it. So definitely check that out. But she gave me a, a, a bag of dried chickpeas. And so I'm going to cook all of that in my instant pot and then I'll use it for a couple of dinners this week. First off, I'm making burrito bowls and I'm using chickpeas as kind of like the, the protein for it. So I'll cook that with some taco seasoning and stuff and then we'll just kind of add other things to it. Also, I'm making a garlic chickpea soup. Uh, it's just a recipe I found that was like super easy and I had just a few ingredients. So any of the recipes that I have will be linked down below for you. Also, I'm making broccoli and cheese baked potatoes, something that was really, really easy. Uh, I still have some romaine lettuce left over from last week, so I'm going to have salads as a side to go with it. Also, I'm making a white bean and tuna salad really trying to get into like the vegetarian um tuna obviously is not but i'm trying to get more beans for the fiber and protein and then lastly i'm making a, a pasta with chicken sausage and feta cheese i might make some homemade bread later this week i'm not sure it's it's kind of running through my head so we'll see and then for breakfast i am making an apple baked oatmeal and that's all i have for you guys for this week I'm glad that school has started, um, partially because Allison gets to go back to school, but also it means that fall is coming and I am super excited about all the fall recipes and the cold weather that comes with it. Uh, leave me a comment and tell me what are some of your favorite like fall recipes. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.